Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawak. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which we partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered. Our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You give them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Queen of heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. For he whom you did merit to bear, Alleluia has risen, as he said, Alleluia. Pray for us to God, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord is truly risen, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech you that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Sorrowful Mysteries The first Sorrowful Mystery, the Econi in the Garden O Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
the second sorrowful mystery, the scorching at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To the sorrowful mystery, to crowning with thorns. O Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth sorrow of the mystery, the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of Jesus. O Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother, Mother of mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, O Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to the holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you. Let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share to all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray, pray for us. 
our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a moment. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak. Today is Friday of the third week of Easter. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. <clears throat> the Lord is risen, Alleluia. The Lord is risen, Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord, the Lord is, is risen, Alleluia. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made to see it belongs to him, to dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. The Lord, the Lord is, is risen. risen. Alleluia. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord, O Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. The Lord, the Lord is, is risen. risen. Alleluia. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not go stubborn, as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. The, the Lord, Lord is, is risen. risen. Alleluia. Forty years I entered that generation, I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. The, the Lord, Lord is, is risen. risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The, the Lord, Lord is risen. risen. Alleluia. Lord, was away my guilt, Alleluia. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear the rejoicing and gladness that the bones you have crossed may revive. From my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, for an offering from me you would refuse. May sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humble contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. 
then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Christ bore our sins in his own body as he hung upon the cross. Alleluia. Let my eyes stream with tears, day and night without rest, over the great destruction which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people, over her incurable wound. If I walk out into the field, look, to slain by the sword. If I enter the city, look, to consumed by hunger. Even the prophet and the priest, for it's in a land they know not. Have you cast Judah off completely? Is Zion loathsome to you? Why have you struck us a blow that cannot be healed? We wait for peace to no avail, for a time of healing, but terror comes instead. We recognize, O Lord, our wickedness, the guilt of all fathers, that we have sinned against you. For your name's sake, spurn us not, disgrace not the throne of your glory. Remember your covenant with us, and break it not. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy, Alleluia. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. Go within His gates, giving thanks. Enter His courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to Him and bless His name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal His merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Lord of mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ of mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have come to know the grace of the Lord's resurrection may through the love of the Spirit ourselves rise to newness of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Saul, still breathing murderous threats against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues in Damascus, that if he should find any men or women who belong to the way, he might bring them back to Jerusalem in chains. On his journey, as he was nearing Damascus, a light from the sky suddenly flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? He said, Who are you, sir? The reply came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. Now get up, and go into the city, and you will be told what you must do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless, for they heard the voice but could see no one. Saul got up from the ground, but when he opened his eyes, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him to Damascus. For three days he was unable to see, and he neither ate nor drank. There was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias, and the Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias. He answered, 
Here I am, Lord. The Lord said to him, Get up and go to the street called Straight, and ask at the house of Judas for a man from Tarsus named Saul. He is there praying, and in a vision he has seen a man named Ananias. Come in and lay his hands on him, on him that he may regain his sight. But Ananias replied, Lord, I have heard many from many sources about this man, what evil things he has done to your holy ones in Jerusalem. And here he has authority from the chief priest to imprison all who call upon your name. But the Lord said to him, Go, for this man is a chosen instrument of mine to carry my name before Gentiles, kings, and children of Israel, and I will show him what he will have to suffer for my name. So Ananias went and entered the house, laying his hands on him, and he said, Saul, my brother, the Lord has sent me, Jesus who appeared to you on the way by which you came, that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, things like scales fell from his eyes, and he regained his sight. He got up and was baptized, and when he had eaten, he recovered his strength. He stayed some days with the disciples in Damascus, and he began at once to proclaim Jesus in the synagogues, and he is the son, that he is the Son of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify Him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is His kindness toward us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Please all stand. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him, says the Lord. Your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? And Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink of his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. And just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live 
forever. These things he said while teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum. Our dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at yung mga nakikiisa sa amin dito na nasa kami kanilang mga bahay. Magandang umaga rin po sa inyong lahat. Kahapon, it was a long day for us. We had a meeting, we had a Board of Trustees meeting ng Letran Manawag and we talk about the direction of the school, we talk about sustainability of our institution and how we can collaborate with our other Dominican schools, sister schools, UST, Letran Manila and other institutions. We talk about that. In other words, dami naming pinag-usapan tungkol sa kung paano mas magiging relevant and effective ang aming mga school, ang aming school uh, in a post-pandemic era, in a post-pandemic world. It was long and tiring, maraming pinag-usapan, but it was a very fruitful meeting. And the home-cooked meal prepared by our Lola Madre made us forget at least for a while of the challenging work ahead of us. Simple, pero masarap po yung pagkain. So while we were eating, we were talking more about food and family. Ganun din naman po tayo, no? kumakain na. Pinag-uusapan pa natin pagkain. No? Uh, kumaka- sumusubo na tayo, meron pa tayong mga naaalalang, uy, ito'y kalasa nito. Uy, yung merong ganitong pagkain. Uy, uh, itong dinuguan, at natikman mo na ba yung crispy dinuguan, yung tuyong dinuguan, yung dinuguan ng mga bikulano na may gata. Kumakain na tayo ng dinuguan, yun pa rin yung pinag-uusapan. No? And we talk a lot about food and about family. Sapagat yung food and family ay intertwined. We talk about the smelly buro, the difference between buro ng Kapampangan at buro ng Taganweb ay siha, meron pala nun. And they ask whether lahat ba ng luto sa Bicol ay may gata. And one shared that although bihira na sila magkatipo ng kanyang mga kapatid, when they do, they always try to look for a restaurant na nagsaserve ng sinigang sa bayabas. Katikim na ba kayo ng ganun? Sinigang sa bayabas. Medyo iba daw yung lasa. But for them, it was something that is very special because that meal, that bayan, links a memory to their mother. Kaya food and family are interlinked. At marami pa po kami po tayong pinag-usapan, mga pagkain mula north hanggang south. Pero sa halos lahat ng pagkain, andoon ang kwentong pamilya. Pati na kung saan mabibili, sa ang palengke, mahanap yung mga ingredients ng, ng mga putahing yun. Kaya marami ako natutunan kahapon, hindi lang sa pagpapatakbo ng school, kundi sa pagluluto. Humaba ang tanghalian, inabot ng may isang oras ang kwentuhan. Instead, indeed, our stories about food and family are intertwined. In the Gospel, we hear Jesus teaching the disciples how we can remain with Him how we can stay connected to Him. He is teaching us, in other words, how to remain steadfast and how to deepen our faith. At sa isang paraan, pagkain. Pagkain. Itong mga diskurso nitong mga nakaraang araw at sa mga susunod pa ng araw ay patungkol sa bread of life. Pagkain. Wherein the Lord eh, tells us instructed us and reminded us that He is the bread of life. By making Him as a part of our daily sustenance, sa Misa, we consume Him. Sabi nga, we become what we eat. We become what we consume. So when we continue to consume the Lord in the daily Mass, more and more, that we become like Him. More and more, that He stays with us. More and more, that His teaching stays with us and our love is deepened, not only for Him, but for one another. If you notice, 
kadalasan ang post-resurrection na, na activity ng ating Panginoon always involved gathering, eating, and storytelling. Ag pagtitipon, pagkain, at kwentuhang napakahaba. When he invited, for example, when he was invited, for example, by the two disciples going back to the Emma, to Emmaus, it ended with a meal, and he was revealed to them in the breaking of the bread. Kainan, when they were afraid, no, uh, nangingisda at walang makuha, and then the Lord said, "Throw it another time." And then they asked. And the Lord asked them, bring some fish. Kainan na naman. So the Lord revealed Himself more and more in meals. Kaya ganun kahalaga ang post-resurrection meal ng ating Panginoon. When we contrast this post-resurrection meal to the last meal, or what we know, what we are more familiar with, yung Last Supper ng ating Panginoon, napakalaki ng pagkakaiba. We know the Last Supper ay punong-puno ng grasya. No? But it was also awkward. Remember, it was during the Last Supper that the Lord brought out the issue about betrayal. Hmm. Isa dito sa inyo, sa hapag ng kainan, will betray me. Di ba parang, Lord, teka, kumakain tayo. No? Can we not uh, set it aside first? But it was during the meal, awkward, no? At, uh, but in the post-resurrection meal, it's different. The meal that the Lord held with His disciples is all about regaining those that lost and fractured confidence. It was a meal again with the family. It was a meal about gathering and telling them that it's time to move on. But it was also a meal, those were also meals that is always with storytelling about what happened, about a fulfilled promise, about the rising from the dead, about the work that is in front of them, but also about the assurance that He will be with them, He will be with us every time and all the time. And it was in the context of a meal. Kaya nga po, nadagdagan ng layer of understanding yung kwento namin sa umaga during the board meeting at during the hapuna, during the tanghalian. And we read the gospel, it is also telling us that it's not only food and family, that are intertwined, intertwined din po yung pagkain, yung food, yung family, at yung pananampalataya. Food, family, and faith are intertwined. Kaya nga po sa mga, sa mga usapan sa mesa, halimbawa, sa mesa, sa hapag ng ating Panginoon, andoon lagi yun. Remember, I made a promise, was fulfilled. Remember, you are gathered together and I announce a peace, a promise fulfilled. Remember this because in the future, there will be challenges. There will be work ahead. Your faith will be tested again. Gather when that time happens. Gather. Retell the story. Eat together. And remember what I have promised you and what I have fulfilled, that I have fulfilled my promises to you. Food, family, and faith are intertwined. In the post-resurrection meal, Jesus took time with his disciples. Hopefully, we also take time with our meals. Siguro yung Last Supper, dahil napaka-awkward, lahat nagmamadali, maraming mga hindi natunawan sa pagkain nun. In a meal na hindi awkward, in a meal 
with friends. Natutunawan kahit na ang daming nakain because it was a meal that is bonded by the grace of camaraderie and community. In the post-resurrection meal, Jesus did not eat alone. Sana all. And hopefully, ito lagi ang nostalgia ng mga may edad na, mga nanay na may edad na, mga lolo at lola dito, dati-rate, pagkakumakain, sabay-sabay. Sapagkat napakahirap pong magkwento kapag ka ikaw lang ang nasa mesa. Delikado yun. Kinakausap mo yung pagkain mo. We spend time with each other. We do not eat alone. It was always with His family. In a post-resurrection meal, Jesus taught us how we can deepen our faith in Him and in each other. Sabi nga po, no? Among us Dominicans, there is always a challenge. A challenge, and sometimes we are not faithful to this challenge. To talk to God and to talk about God. Ang kwento ng Diyos sa bawat isa at ang kwento ng Diyos para sa lahat sa atin. Indeed, food, family, and faith are intertwined and it nourishes. Can you all stand? The Father gives us His own Son as His real food and real drink at His altar. We can ask Him for all our needs. In Christ, the source of new life, let your response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may grow in appreciation of the Eucharist as the bread of life by celebrating the sacrifice of the Mass with greater devotion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a community, we may not be idle in our life of faith, but every day seek God, even in our difficulties and sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That families, especially our children, may grow in the ways of grace through the constant reception of the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be strengthened in their faith by uniting their sufferings with the suffering of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Pope, Colossal Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and all those for whom we promise to pray. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for vocations and the needs of the province, and for our brothers and ministry at St. John Lateran and St. Albert the Great. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may have the eternal life promised by Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all our frontliners, for the health workers, for our government leaders, and for our ecclesiastical leaders, that the Lord may continue to bless them and strengthen them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we all have prayer. We also continue to pray for all our brothers and sisters who are finding it difficult to put food on their table, that those who are tasked with helping them may also be more generous. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we all pray. In a very special way, we pray that community pantries in the Philippines may continue to multiply so that more and more people will be able, will be served, and there will be less hungry among us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we all pray. We pause for a while in silence. You may now offer your personal intention. Heavenly Father, you gave us the food, the body and blood of your Son as food and drink for our community. Grant that through our union with him, we may be united with one another as members of his body. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us a bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, for the divine work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is a sacrificial victim who dies no more the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake on the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome in the, into the light of your, of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and on his shores forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, O Father, our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, our healer, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood shall live in me, and I in him. Please stand. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set him free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised so full that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. And the tender compassion of our God, to dawn from on high, shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood shall live in me, and I in him. Alleluia. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. In our prayer to Horatio Imperata for vocations in the Archdiocese of Lingayen, Dagupan. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians, for the increase of priestly vocations in the church in Lingayen, Dagupan. Let us answer together, grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with, your, uh, with our seminarians in their journey of priesthood formation, Mary, Hope of Christians. Grant through our prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds, Mary, Hope of Christians. Grant through our prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on the Pentecost day. Stay with us in prayer, so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on your or young men seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your son entrusted to you, the beloved disciple, at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart or young men who are reluctant to answer your call to be priest. Mary, help of Christians. Grant your prayers and invocations to the priesthood. Let us pray. Mary, help of Christians, we place all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priest sons as they follow your son who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Before I give the final blessing, maraming maraming salamat po sa pagdalaw ninyo sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Pero lalong higit, maraming salamat sa inyong pakikiisa sa banal na misa, yung mga dito sa loob ng simbahan, at yung patuloy na nakikisa po sa amin sa kanilang mga bahay. Uh, ulitin ko po, meron po kaming bagong website. Maganda po yun. Siyempre, kailangan akong sabihin maganda. Because that's how you can connect with us and continue with the practices na nakasanayan po ninyo kung noong panahong nakakapunta pa rin po kayo dito. Meron, meron doon kung paano po kayo makakapagpasindi ng kandila. Meron po doon sa website na yon kung paano kayo makakapagpadasal pa sa aming mga seminarisa. And meron po doon na area kung saan makakapag-offer po kayo ng, ng misa. At may, ang, ang, uh, ang website rin po na yun, ay doon nyo po ma, masusubaybayan at makikipagkaisa po kayo sa aming mga misa at mga activities po dito sa loob ng Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. So muli po, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord to one another. Thanks be to God. We now say the prayer for the blessing of the sick and bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness over the sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the miseries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.